Hey guys, Thunder E here, and as you know, the Android 9, aka Android P, the official name Android Pie update is finally available right here. And we're gonna take a look at what the features are in this update and what you can expect moving forward with Android Pie. So let's jump into the phone, okay? So the first thing you notice is the Google search bar at the bottom. And of course, your brand new home button. There's no back or mini button. Now you can go back and change that, but these are the new gesture features if you haven't seen anything about Android uh, Pie here. So you, you can swipe from the bottom up that will take you all the way to your app tray. Now there was a middle section there. So if you swipe one and stop, you get your multitask. If you swipe again, you go to your app tray. You can do it in all one quick swipe. The cool thing about it is that if you're in an application, say like YouTube here, and you want to go to App Tray, you can swipe up and go to the App Tray. So you can do it in one motion. I just kind of did it in the stutter motion there. Now, of course, you can scroll through all the different applications quickly if you want to. Um, you can hit the home button to go home. You can swipe up, move up for over. You can also multitask by tapping on the top icon here to multitask and that will give you split screen so you can actually split whatever screens you want. And then whenever you perform a task like that, there is the uh, back button that comes up which allows you to go back uh, and make changes if you want to or you can just go ahead and close that out. Now, there are a couple of new AI features that have been built into Android uh, Pi. Some of them are not fully available, some of them are. I do have one, one of them which is in your app tray that shows you basically your recent uh, activity. So basically it tells you what you're trying to do or what you've been doing mostly on your device. So I've been watching a lot of Plex, so home videos I can access and also search my Plex. And that could be say Facebook or any other application that I use, but that's what the AI activity will actually do to figure out what you do a lot besides just regular applications, but also functions on your device. So you can quickly access those functions by coming into the app tray and just tapping those directly. So that actually is pretty nice. Now, the other thing of course is going into the settings menu. As you can see, some of these icons have changed. If we go into the settings, we have a few things that pertain to some new features like the adaptive battery. So if we go into that, uh, you can set that up by just turning it on. And what it does is basically extends your battery life, uh, limits the battery use for infrequently used applications, and basically focus that performance and battery uh, effectiveness for applications that you use the most. So it learns how you use your device, what apps you use the most, and tries to balance that out to give you much longer battery life. We'll have to check it out to see how much we get with adaptive battery. The other one, of course, is under display and uh, we've got adaptive brightness. This will also learn how you actually set your device and also it depends on the settings that you are in. So if you like to max out your battery or put it halfway like I do have here, it will learn that and it will adjust that to the different settings, locations and times for you so that, um, of course, this will also help your battery life at the end of the day. So that is something uh, to take note. Now, some of you are wondering, okay, how do I take out those gestures? You can. You can just go into system, basically make sure you go into, uh, sorry, you go into gestures, I apologize, I said system, but it's gestures on the system. So, so right here, system gestures, pretty much. Then you wanna go into swipe up for home button and you can turn it off and you get your regular multitask menu, home button and back button. But once you tap that, that will still give you the option to swipe up from, um, you know, your multitask and menu itself. So you do have that built in. Now, some of the little things that you find on Android Pie is that you do have icons now in uh, contacts and your notifications. So you can actually see that there. So you can see who's actually sending you messages uh, in terms of images uh, there. Also, you notice the new feature with auto rotate is even though when you have it off, as I do have here, and say I go into, let me, let me go into an application that I can use auto rotate on, uh, let's see, I'm on YouTube here and I start rotating. You see that icon that popped up? That tells me, hey, do you wanna auto rotate? So I can go ahead and tap that and it'll auto rotate for me. So it gives me the ability to have auto rotate anytime I want without actually going ahead to, uh, the notification menu to actually do that. And again, you can still swipe up, by the way, from the home screen. 
uh, even with the uh, icon buttons to go into the, of course, the multi, your app tray area. Now, um, the other feature that you have, of course, with the volume, uh, you do have uh, proper volume settings here. So I can go ahead and tap the volume and quickly go ahead and put my device into silent as, as one, two. I can also adjust the media volume and then I have a proper volume settings. I can go into and select do not disturb and turn my device uh, completely off from all notifications uh, as I see fit. So that is also something pretty nice. Now, the cool, there's another cool feature here um, with uh, the adaptive select, if you will. So right here in the uh, notification in the uh, um, multitask menu, I can go ahead and select text in here. So basically I can select that text, I can copy it, and then I can go ahead and paste it in the search menu. Boom, so you have that in there. I can use it in any form or fashion, it doesn't matter. The other thing, uh, the other AI feature is called Slice, uh, which I don't have, but it's contextual. So, it, so in the video they showed, um, you typed in lift and then it will tell you, give you options already from your search within the search bar. So you use Slice within your Google search bar and it will be contextually tied to applications that you use or at least different functions. So you tell me, okay, hey, look, a lift will cost you this. Maybe there's a surge or something like that. So it gives me options and I can already access directly from the app, from the search without actually going into the app first to look for it. So it shortens my, the amount of time that I have. Then there's also, of course, the wind down feature which will allow you to which will basically look at how much you're spending time on your device and also uh, help you curtail that and and, and you know uh, uh, slow down the amount of looking at your phone and make you of course uh, step away at least that's the whole idea with the, with the wind down feature so that's pretty much it with uh, Android P here um, and the other little things uh, in terms of changes that they've made uh, as you can see just visually it's got a very different distinct look uh, to it the application icons are of course a little larger and more colorful very flat look uh, look to it um, as well if we go into the systems and we click about device if we go to android 9 you can see what version we are in yeah we've got that p here so um yeah that's pretty much it so that is of course android uh, p pi uh, the ninth version of android all the features that you can expect there's yeah, probably a lot, a lot of little things that I missed out, but um, of course, stay tuned. We will be doing a one year look at the Pixel. So again, that would be a good time to look at how this software actually affects it uh, sometime in September or October, at least to just give some more time. But I think uh, it's quite interesting to see how this fares out, how you people, uh, you guys, what you think about it. Uh, let me know if you like those gestures features because I'm not a big fan. I do like the buttons uh, there myself. And also we'll see how it pairs with the Pixel 3. With the notch. I know, I just had to do that. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. Once you do, please hit that notification icon. You will not be notified with any of my videos. Till next time, always enjoy your entertainment.